Coach, this is Chris Rumfelt with FCA, and we want to encourage you with a word today. I want to talk to you about the power of a verse. We know that Philippians 4.13 is one of the greatest scriptures in the Word of God, and most of us athletes have known that, and coaches have used that. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Tim Tebow in 2008 took that verse and wrote it on eye black and wore it. And he was getting fame and people were catching on to the phrase Philippians 4.13. They were selling t-shirts at the University of Florida and they didn't even know what Philippians 4.13 was. And so they were to play for the national championship. And on 1809, they played that game. But before that, the previous week before the game, something you may not know, is Tim Tebow felt a strong urgency to change that verse. He loved that verse, and he told his mom and dad at dinner on the Wednesday before the national championship, I'm going to change the verse. And his dad said, well, son, have you talked to Coach Meyer about that? And he said, no, I haven't. He said, you ought to talk to him. He went to Coach Meyer, and Coach Meyer was very superstitious as a coach. And Tim said if he wore long socks on one week and they won a big game, the next week they would be extra long socks. And so he said, Coach, I'm going to change the verse. He said, you can't change it. He said, Philippians 4.13 got us here. You can't change it, Timmy. And Tim said, I, I shared my heart with him about why. And so he changed the verse. And on that day, on 1-8-0-9, he put John 3.16. He went out and played that game. And during that game, over 94 million people Googled John 3.16. What a powerful verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Three years later, Tim Tebow is playing for the Denver Broncos at Mile House Stadium in Denver. They're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. And as they played that day at the end of that game, they found themselves winning the first playoff game in six years on 1-8-2012, exactly three years later. His PR guy, Patrick, came and said, Timmy, do you know what happened? He said, yeah, we just won a playoff game. He said, no, do you know what happened? He said, what? He said, today marks three years of when you put the eye black with John 316, blow your eye in the national championship game, and 94 million people Googled that. He said, yeah, yeah, I know that. And he said, no. He said, do you know what happened today? He said, what am I missing? He said, today you threw for 316 yards. He said, you rushed for 3.16 yards per carry. He said, the time of possession offensively was 31.06. And he said this, that the social media rating was the highest at 3.16. And he said this, over 90 million people again Googled John 3.16. My friend, that's the power of a verse. And all the Bible rolled up in one verse of scripture is found in John 3.16. And guys, I want you to go out and use the power from the word of God for you to live your life to the fullest. And for you to coach those athletes and give them something more powerful than that ball. Give them something more powerful than those weights. Give them something that will help them get to eternity and make that eternal place called heaven. Thank you. God bless you. Keep doing a good job. We're praying for you.